Hello. Welcome to Survival Instincts with Professor Sabretooth. What would you do if you were stranded on a boat for 227 days? What would you do if you were stranded on an island with no one else? Most people take this soda here for granted, but I do not. I savor every sip of it. Because when you're stranded on an island, water and other precious liquids, such as Diet Dr. Pepper Cherry, are precious. Let's be honest here. Take it from Professor Saber Tooth Man. No one ever gets trapped on an island. No one ever is in some random mountain or something. No one's FedEx plane ever crashes and some raft appears and they float away to some stupid island like Tom Hanks did. But what does happen every day is rape, and mugging, and murders. So that's what we are going to be teaching you here today. I'm going to be using our actors, David Gorilla Hansel, <coughs> and Andrew Down Syndrome Shannon. We are going to be acting out real life scenarios and showing you how to survive in them. This is survival instinct. How to survive a mugging. This is how not to do it. Some guy with red hair, kind of like the Asian color, you know, when the Asians die there? Yeah, that, yeah, that color. Yeah, he just threw up. He tried to mug me. Okay, bye. How do you survive a rape scenario? This is the wrong way. Boy, it sure was a fun night at the club with my lady friends. I think I'll go to bed early tonight. If you're ever being raped, the rapist's most sensitive spot is his nuts. Always go for the, sorry, proper term, testiculars. Usually rapists are men because, you know, a woman can't really rape anything, so go for the balls. Oh boy, I sure had a fun time at the club with my lady friends. I think I'll go to bed early tonight.
Boy, ping pong sure is fun. Oh my gosh, what's that noise? It sounds like the blare of the Potawatomomicha tribe. By golly gee whiz, I sure do love ping pong. If I had to choose between having a beautiful girlfriend or playing ping pong, I'd probably choose the ping pong. Oh my gosh, are those the roaring thunderous drums of the Potawatomomicha tribe? Stop! I mean you no harm. I'm here to trade with you. A light stick. Trade. Trade. Now, seeing on this episode of Survival Instincts, we dealed with some rare occurrences, but some random facts from our other episodes would be, for example, if you're ever to go into the wilderness, make sure that you ought to bring flint, axe, or knife. And Andy, what else do you know about bringing into the wilderness and monk map? Always bring a sturdy tent if you have to stay overnight, because the forest floor can be a host to many insects. Number two, a two-way radio is essential for staying in touch with your homeboys. Also, it is good to have a few pots and pans around for cooking. You should also bring food, bananas, and food. Stupid gorilla! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick you in the butt! We're done. Okay. To be <laughs> Should we don't do that. <laughs> Shannon, go on. Okay. He's <laughs> recording. Uh, she gets them. Gets. <laughs> don't stop. Oh my god. I... Get rid of all your money. <gasps> what was that? What? Okay. <laughs>